One of the great challenges today of delivering masters is the multitude of different file formats and encoding options. Processing and, and effects that are applied to one file format may not translate directly over to different encoding options. Previously, we always had to encode the files and then listen to them and go back and tweak and often make changes for different files. The Steinberg encoder checker can solve this dilemma. It's found in the playback processing of the master section and we could just come to the Steinberg tab and open the encoder checker. This will allow me to load up three different encoding options and compare it to my original file. So let's say we'll go through some of the presets. I could have uh, an AAC file, let's say standard iTunes. We could also go to 192K MP3. Or let's actually create our own. So we could actually click on edit. You could choose your different file formats for encoding, uh, which encoding engine you want, whether you want the Fraunhofer or the lame encoder. And now we could just kind of hit OK. You can set the bit depth here. So let's say I wanted to be 128K. And now we'll just hit OK. And we'll choose that as our third encoding option. So now as I play back my audio in WaveLab, I could listen to my original file. Switch to encoding option one. Encoding option two. third encoding option. Back to the original. So now you can make changes and make sure that all of your processing for effects and your edits are going to translate across multiple encoding options before the need to encode. One other thing that's handy is there's also a blind comparison mode. So you could actually switch back and forth between without a visual representation, and then you could determine which encoder sounds better without kind of being predisposed for the encoding type or bit depth. And you could actually do it just by listening to it sonically. So as you can see, the encoder checker in WaveLab is a really great tool for being able to know exactly what's going to happen before all the files have been processed. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.